Hey guys, Desi here for the Games Geeks Tech Talk, and this week we're chatting with an awesome guest. Please welcome Chloe Taylor, STEM curriculum developer and educator, as well as the founder of Tech Fort Green in Brooklyn, New York City. Chloe, thank you so much for hanging with us today. Absolutely. So guys, a couple weeks ago I talked about back to school tech, and now we're going to round off the conversation. We're not just going to get the kids the consumer tech they need, but we're getting them into technology in terms of building and programming. That's where Chloe comes in. So tell us, Chloe, what is Tech Fort Green? So Tech Fort Green is a spinoff of our original program, Camp Fort Green, and it's all about experimenting and having fun with technology, circuitry, robots, 3D printing, all that good stuff. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. I wish I was a kid, but I know it's more than just a good time. Why is it important to get kids into technology early? It's really important because our kids are surrounded all the time with technology. It's everywhere, but they don't really have a comprehensive understanding of what it is. And so they're always on screens and tablets, but my goal is really to introduce them to how technology works on a more functional level. And did you have any personal experiences as a child involving technology that helped you succeed today? Yes, I was a very curious child. I loved using computers. I had a Sega Game Gear, which I completely loved. And then when I was in high school, I did a summer program at a university that was all about technology. And had I not done that program, my whole life would have been different. Wow, and what was in that program? It was focused on science, technology, mathematics. So I, that was really my first introduction to robotics. And I didn't really have an interest before then. And so having the opportunity to learn about robotics really sparked my interest in a really, really meaningful way. That is so cool. And is that what inspired you to start Tech Fort Green? Yes. So our original camp program is all science inquiry, so plant life, um, space, and all kinds of scientific topics. But because I thought back to my own experience specifically with tech and learning how to code and learning about robotics, I really wanted to bring that experience to kids in Brooklyn. That is an awesome idea. They really need it. I wish I had that when I was a kid. Yeah, a <laughs> me too. Me too. Well, now that the summer's almost over and even Tech Fort Green's campers are heading back to school, how can parents help their kids succeed via technology or programming? It might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but I really like to limit screen time, especially in the summer for kids. I think really hands-on things like using little bits or Bebots or Legos, Lego Mindstorm, things that kids can be really hands-on with are a really great way for them to get introduced to technology. A less expensive option is to have a take-apart time where your kids can take apart remotes and cameras and all kinds of things and see what's inside. It gets them really, really excited about technology in a different way. That is such a good idea. I remember taking apart my mom's typewriter when I was a kid. That was super fun. Yeah. It's great for a curious child. So what about the parents themselves? Because sometimes as adults, we forget that it's never too late to learn. What do you recommend for adults who want to increase their literacy in the tech world? I really think it's important for adults to start, at least to start, to learn how to code. You know, we live our lives online now. We're always attached to our laptops and our tablets and our phones. And I find that a lot of adults are mystified by how technology works and have really no clue about what coding is or how it is done. And so I would really recommend to just poke around online, find some online resources about learning to code, just so that you have a more informed perspective on the technology that surrounds you every day. Chloe, are you reading my mind? I think you're a <laughs> mind reader because I actually am cooking up just a very basic level coding series for GGT. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, because coding really changed my life. The same as you, I feel like everyone should learn how to code, just a little bit. A Even little a little bit. bit. It makes a huge difference. <laughs> you understand. So I want to talk a little bit more about you. You did that pre-college program in technology. After that, fill us in on the rest of your background. 
So I did the pre-college program at Carnegie Mellon and then went to Carnegie Mellon. I then pursued education in grad school. So my background is primarily in education, but I've really brought technology into what I do. I also volunteer for Girls Who Code, and I really love the blend of computer science and social emotional learning that goes into the Girls Who Code curriculum. I've been doing that for two years and love it. And all those experiences have brought me to where I am today. Oh, well, we are big fans of Girls Who Code, so kudos to you for volunteering. And your background is just perfect because obviously not only do you have tech experience, but you actually trained to be an educator. Now let's get back to your day camp. What age range do the kids have to be to enroll? So in Camp Fort Greene, we welcome campers from pre-K to fifth grade. And tech right now is from second to fifth grade, but every year we expand. My partners and I from Camp Fort Greene formed a nonprofit, which is called Green Prince, to raise money to give scholarships to kids for both programs. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Yeah, we're really excited about it. How do the kids get the scholarships? We take applications from parents. Basically, we're looking to provide really meaningful summer experiences for kids. So each year we look over the applicants and we give really as much as we can. So the more donations that we get, the more kids can come to camp and to tech. Ooh, how can people donate? If you go to greenprints.org, so it's G-R-E-E-N-E-P-R-I-N-T-S dot org, you can donate online. Perfect. So just for everybody listening, what is the best website for people to learn more about Tech Fort Green? You can go to campfortgreen.com and you'll find the Tech Fort Green page there and just information about our history and the full program and my partners, Isa and Andy. All the resources are there. Chloe, thank you so much for chatting with us today. You gave us some great insights into why it's important to get kids into tech early as well as some tools that even non-parents can use in our own lives. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And for you guys at home, thank you so much for listening to the Games Geeks Tech Talk. For more inspiring interviews and positive stories about tech and gaming, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments what kinds of info and interviews you'd like to hear from us next. In the meantime, I'm Desi for GGT, and I'll catch you next time.